All right, so we now have a question dealing with binomial coefficients, okay? So they want us to show that when you had this and that, they should be able to give us that. So in most of the cases where you have an addition of two binomial coefficients, giving you another one, uh, basically just try to focus more on the side where there's an addition, okay? And leave the other one alone. So you'll be able to see how simply this can be done. Okay, so let's just try to expand it a little bit, starting with the first one. So we have P choose R. Okay, so P choose R like this. This actually means P factor divided by the difference of P and R factorial, right, and then R factorial. I believe we already know that definition by now. And then for the second part, our P, that means P factorial over P minus what is on the bottom. On the bottom we have R minus 1. So that would be R. Now after subtracting, then 1 can be a 1, can be a positive 1. Factorial and then R minus 1 factorial. Okay, so this is the left hand side. Now, we know this should be equal to the right hand side, right? Okay. So, this is equal to, we are supposed to get to a point where we had the two. So, implying that they, we should come up with a common denominator. Okay. Now, let me just try to do one thing here and then you'll be able to see. So, let's try to rearrange this other part. P minus R plus 1. In fact, even just the way it is, it's fine. So if you try to compare this part and that part, are you able to see any relation there? Okay, let me try to see now. So let's do this. Let's try to expand this a little bit. If we were to expand that, we would see that basically that is the same as P minus R plus 1. If we reduce a 1, if we minus 1, it will be P minus R factorial. What, I'm what am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is, of course, if we have N, N factorial is the same as N. If you reduce a 1, it will be N minus 1 factorial. So that's exactly what I've done. I've just removed a 1. I've subtracted the term there minus a 1. And this is what I'm getting factorial. So you can see now that basically this part is contained in that part. So, in fact, we can just leave it the way it is. Okay. Now, try to observe again. Now, try to compare R factorial and R minus 1 factorial. Which one is bigger? Of course, this is bigger. If you, if you try to expand it, R factorial, what do you think? That's R, R minus 1. So, this again is contained in R factorial. So R factorial can be written, and then R minus 1 factorial, and then we'll try to divide. So if we divide P minus R factorial into this part, you see that it will divide with that and then we'll remain with the first part. This is what is going to remain. So that's going to be our P factorial on top, multiplied by the remainder after dividing is only this part. P minus R plus 1 because this part combined is equal to R factorial so there is no remainder there so plus again P factorial now this part and this part is the same but that part and this part R will be the difference okay and then still our left hand side <coughs> On top, p factorial is common, and then if we factorize p factorial in the first part, what's going to remain will be p minus r plus 1, and then the other part, what remain will just be plus r. Over, we can combine this, we know r, r minus 1 factorial is the same as r factorial, then the other part, we know it's p minus 
R plus 1 factorial. Okay? So here we had expanded at this uh, point. Now we've actually compressed it. So left hand side now has reduced to P factorial. Now R plus minus R, these are common, all these are like terms. So we will subtract and then you remain with P plus 1 in the brackets. Of, uh, let's start with this part instead. So we have P minus R plus 1 factorial R factorial. Now, what's this equal to? P plus 1 P factorial. Well, p plus 1 is bigger than p by 1. So that's the same as p plus 1 factorial. So p plus 1 factorial over p. You can also start with a plus 1. Plus 1 minus r factorial r factorial. So this is actually derivative because I know if I expand what is on the right, this is basically what it's going to be equal to. Based, based on the same rules we started with, expanding this part, the other side, p plus 1 factorial, will be p plus 1, of course, minus r factorial, r factorial. So you've seen basically that this is the left hand side, which basically becomes p plus 1 which is R. This is still the left hand side. So since left hand side is equal to right hand side is shown. So we've actually seen now by just adding the two we have produced the other one. And that's how simple this question was.